All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the many ways on how to beat a 2-3 zone. Uh, so this is a basic motion offense that we're going to run against a 2-3 zone. And you can see it's why it's called a 2-3 zone. That there's two defenders up front and three defenders down below. Okay. Um, some people also call this a 2-1-2 zone. Uh, maybe if that's the case, these two guys would be a little bit higher, and this guy would definitely be a little higher on here as well. But mostly what we'll see is probably a 2-3 zone such as this. Okay. So when we have, we know we're playing against a 2-3 zone like this. Um, what we want, obviously, is we want our best ball handler bring the ball up the court, as always. But these four positions, 2, 3, 4, and 5, are extremely interchangeable in this offense. Okay, so this allows us to go really small against the 2-3 zone, or big if we want to go big against the 2-3 zone. It doesn't matter, um, because those four positions are very interchangeable. Obviously, the one is just we want a good ball handling to bring the ball up the court. But after that, he or she is just another part of this same five-man rotation, okay? So what we can see here what we have is we have two players on one side of the ball and one player on the other side of the ball. So this is called our strong side. This is called our weak side for now because there's only one player on this side of the ball, okay? That's where we want the offense to start. Now we want two to go ahead and get himself open by either doing a blast cut here or doing a V cut in and out whatever he needs to do to get himself open, all right? So he gets open here. That's our first pass going to go. So obviously that's going to do a couple things here. That's going to, depending on where two catches the ball at, if he's around this area, this defender is going to have to jump up to guard. But if he's higher, then this defender will just slide over to guard. Either way, what we want that to happen next is three people in this offense to move pretty much simultaneously. We want the five to slide down to the corner. Now, it depends on what happens here. If this guy comes up to guard, then five can go a straight shot into the corner. But if that defender stays down low, we want the five to kind of snake around them to get open to the corner here, always looking for a catch and shoot opportunity. All right, while that happens, three is basically gonna take that person's place here. And four is gonna slide up to the wing on this side. So that gives the, the two three quick catch and shoot pass options. Pass to five in the corner for a shot, or maybe a, a baseline drive. Pass to three at the elbow for a quick turnaround jumper. Or if those fail, we have a skip pass option to four. Depending on what these defenders do, they might all slide over. And four might be open for a skip pass and a quick jump shot. Okay. However, if all those passes are not available, it's not a problem. I'm just going to rotate the ball and try again. Okay. Basically, that, that motion we just saw there is the same motion that's going to continuously happen over and over again. Now that we have our three pl players rotated, one is going to come over here and set a screen on this defender, allowing four to come up on top, and we pass the ball over here, and that resets the whole offense. One will slide over, and here we have the exact same offense we started, offensive set we started with, except it's reversed. All right? So now one is going to get himself open, and we're going to pass the ball over to that side, and everyone's going to move in the same fashion as before. Three is going to slide down into the corner for the corner three. Two is going to sprint over to the elbow, and five is going to slide up. Okay? Again, we're looking three, two, or five as our pass and then catch and shoot options. Okay? And if this is still not working, we just continue in that manner. It's just going to be motion through motion until we get a good look. So now four is going to come down to the screen. Five is going to pop up top, and then four is going to go over to the wing. And one's going to get the ball here. And then we're right back where we started in the beginning of this offense. Okay, so let's just run through it one more time. Four is open. Pass the ball over here. Two slides to the corner. One to the elbow. Three to the wing. There's your options. Okay, two, one, three in that order. Okay, if none of those passes are open for a quick jump shot, no problem. All right, we'll just go ahead and set our screen once again here. Pass the ball up top, and we're right back where we started again in the middle. Okay, so it's just a continual motion. Um, things to look for here, anytime you catch a pass, 
and you can drive to the basket, do so, all right? And try to take one or two or even three defenders with you, okay? Also, any time, so let's say we get the ball over here to five, one goes to the corner, four goes to the elbow like it's supposed to, any time we can get that ball into four, or whoever's in the middle at that time, that's where we want to get it to, okay? Even if that person is not have time for a quick uh, turn and jump and shoot opportunity, once we get the ball into the middle, that defense is going to collapse, okay? There might be two or even three defenders that might collapse in the ball. Depending on who, four might have an opportunity for a backdoor cut here to one, or a quick back and forth here to five, or a reverse ball back over to two, and then two might have an opportunity for an open look or a baseline drive. Okay. A couple keys against any zone defense, but especially against the 2-3 zone. Um, we always want to just keep moving the ball. The more you move the ball, the more you move the defenders. And the more you move the defenders, the more chances you'll have at an open look at some point. Okay. Another point, we want to fake pass often. All right. Sell that pass. So even if after we pass the ball over here to 2 and we run through this motion here, if four isn't open, fake the pass to four. If nothing else, you'll get this defender to jump out there. All right, and if five isn't open, fake the pass to five. If nothing else, you'll probably get this defender to come up there. All right, and then one might see, instead of doing this, he has the opportunity to just backdoor cut. There's a lane there. So fake pass, fake pass, fake pass. Even if you're not gonna pass the ball to a partner, to a teammate, fake that pass, make the defense move, and see if we can find another opportunity for either a backdoor cut or a uh, quick catch and shoot opportunity. All right, that's the basics of this offense here. Again, it's just a motion offense where we continue through the motions over and over again. There is no shot clock here, so we have all the time in the world. Do not force shots in this and do not dribble unless we're dribbling with a purpose. All right, what does dribble with a purpose mean? It means we're driving to the hoop, okay? We don't just pick up our dribble uh, after two, dr two dribbles around in our area, then we just lost an option, okay? So no dribbling unless we're driving to the hoop. Fake passes, okay, and no crazy shots. No shot clock means we can keep working this for as long as we need to until we get a good look at the basket. All right, thanks again for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time.